November is Women Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month, and Perdita Felician is here to tell us more. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Very excited to have you. I have to let our viewers know about your accomplishments. You are a two-time Olympian, two-time world champion, 10-time Canadian national champion and national record holder in the 100-meter hurdles, and you've earned more international medals than any other female track and field athlete in Canadian history. That sounds pretty awesome <laughs> when you read it out loud like that. And you're here today to, to talk about this very important month. Why is this so important to you? You know, this is a part of my story I've never shared, and I grew up in Oshawa, under a you know abusive situation my mother my sister and i had to flee an abusive situation and our refuge was the denise house a wow. women's crisis shelter in oshawa and it was a resource my mom didn't even know was there it was a friend that she called because this had been going on for years uh this abusive situation and the friend literally took us out of the house and drove us to the doorstep of this home and this was just before Christmas of 1987. And so, Denise, when you read off that list, great accomplishments, but I'm always looking for a way to give back. And I've advocated for so many things, but nothing has been nearer to my heart than giving back to my own community, using our story to let women know there's no shame in asking for help. There's no shame in, uh, in, in these situations. A lot of times, I think women feel guilty, especially when they have children involved. But when mothers thrive and survive, so do their children. And I'm an example of that. That's a beautiful story. And you're sitting there looking beautiful as well, and you have a purple scarf on. Tell us about the purple scarf. Well, this is, like you said, Women's Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month. And for November, the color is purple, which happens to be my favorite color. <laughs> and how fitting is it, is it that we're both in these scarves really just to, to show our support? I'm a big fan of moral support and solidarity, showing women who are in these you know, crisis situations that we see you, we hear you, and, and we are here for you. And I love that the community is coming together. I even read that the CN Tower in, in this month is going to be lighting the CN Tower up in a purple color. Yeah, I think that I think it's it's so great because a lot of times when you're in that situation, you feel like you're alone. And I can tell you as an eight year old, a nine year old, a ten year old, I feared for my mother. Mm -hmm. But I felt so helpless. And the shelter, the Denise House, my mother and I are part of this campaign. We're, they're honorary co-chairs to help raise money for a better, more modern shelter. And the name of the campaign is Help Give Courage a New Home, which I think is so fitting. Yes. And the shelter, like I said, we were there in 87, 88. I can do the math. That's lots of decades ago. <laughs> it's just time, you know, around 200 women uh, come through the shelter and children in a year. Uh, since we've been there, more than 30,000 have needed these resources. And so it's, it's just time to update. Of course, it's clean. It's still safe. But if you can come up to date with the times, you can help more people and more children. And speaking of helping, what can viewers and what can the community do to help the Denise House give courage a new home? Yeah, that's a great question. I think a lot of people wonder, like, oh, I'm not in that situation. What can I do? Like I said, I'm a big believer in solidarity. So go to the DeniseHouse.com website and just look up an event that's going on through the month of November. Take your children, take your partner, you know, take, take your family and just go out and support. Uh, of course, you can donate. Money talks. Mm -hmm. And of course, go to the Denise house.com and give whatever you can I think no no amount is too small or too big to pledge and at the end of the day I feel like wearing purple whether it's your lipstick or a piece, piece of clothing you know the same way we wear the poppy right, right for Remembrance Day is just a way to, to tell women and children in these situations that hey we, we are here for you and we understand and, and we're, we're just gonna be you know standing in the gap on your behalf and you know you're so right about the name give courage a new home to be so fitting because as you had said sometimes people feel women in particular they feel fearful about asking for help because they think maybe it means they failed in some way but in asking for help it's actually being very courageous absolutely and I can say from my situation like you read all those accomplishments that I've had they wouldn't have been possible unless there was intervention and for us the intervention came in 1987 when we were able to go to the Denise house and we had our own um, th the cycle stopped there and so they were able to help my mom find a house you know my mother didn't have tons of money so if you're a, a woman with not lots of money how do you find first month's rent and second month's rent they took that need away and so when we had our own space our own home you really stop the cycle because the abuser can't really control you 
anymore. And so I looked at the trajectory of my life, and none of it would have been possible unless the Denise House was there and we were able to go. And um, one of the things I want to encourage people, if you have new toys and new clothing or whatever it is that you want to give, you know, there's a donation center every Wednesday that you can give. I remember 1987, Christmas, being at the Denise House in the shelter and getting uh, all these teddy bears and all these toys and all these gifts. And that was, you know, the point, like, we didn't have big Christmases, but that was, like, right. the best Christmas yeah. ever. And so it's all those little things just to help a child feel normal and to mm -hmm. feel like a child because you don't really feel like a child when you're seeing your mother, you know, be, be tormented. I know, it causes you to grow up very quickly. Absolutely. Beautiful. Thank you so much for this information. And I know that if people want more to see even concept drawings of the new home, they can go to the Denise House website. And also, uh, there's a number of different events. So I encourage people to go to the website and make a difference. And Isaac Musial will join us when we return. So stay with us.